The squares open, very similar makeup. So Justin Charles and Clark to do battle in the middle. The bounce was one that favoured Clark. It's pushed wide to the outer side. A special night for Wayne Campbell as Michael Gale gets a kick down towards left half forward. Michael Campbell, Michael Gale's kick goes to left half forward. And Wayne Campbell playing his 100th game tonight as Gowers takes the free kick from half back. Pretty still night. Kicks up towards Kennedy on centre wing. A big pack of players, including Dion Scott. Jamie Tape was there for Richmond going in over the top. Could have infringed. And there'll be a free kick, says uh, umpire Mark McKenzie. Callaway's picked up wide too, Sandy. Bullis is going with Lynch. Lambert takes it on centre wing. Sends the Bears in towards their half forward line. A big fly and a big mark. So Dion Scott is going to send them deep into the forward zone. Inside 50 now. Hart is there. Daryl White is there. The big fly was by White as Charles gets a hand pass over the line. And a throw in. And Jasper's going with the other bogeyman for Brisbane, and that is uh, Lepich. We've got Bartlett on Gale down the other end. Champions picking up Edwards. And Richardson with Gowles. So boundary throw in. About 25 metres around from the Bears' goal. Lynch and Charles. Lynch knocks it towards goal. Hart. Lepich on his left foot. Under pressure. And now the Richmond side force it to the boundary line. Broderick. And he's quite happy to see it over. Some other quick matchups, Malcolm. Looking around, we've got Naish on uh, McAd uh, McAdam in the centre. Bond is going with uh, Lambert. Voss is picking up Daffy on the half back flank. Fletcher by himself at the moment. Prescott going with Lappin. Charles works his way to the front from the boundary line. Does well, the big fella, to tape. Really had nowhere to go. And so the boundary line was the only option. And just this first eight minutes, just a bit scruffy as we try and break up this game. Fine and mild, light winds, and uh, 18. It's beautiful up here tonight. And minimum temperature of 11 degrees overnight. Once again, down towards the boundary line. And this will be the fourth boundary line throw-in in less than a minute and a half. Chris Scott playing on Wayne Campbell. Broderick is now going with um, with Fletcher. And Bauer is picking up Sean Hart. So another throw in on that outer side. And it finally it's the Tigers who get it away through Broderick. Up towards the middle and the duck takes it. Nick Daffy is called to play on. No one on the mark. Suddenly it's Richmond deep into their scoring zone. Daffy's kick goes over the top but it's away to the right. Richard Champion sees it over the line in the right forward pocket. So the Tigers now with an opportunity to open their scoring and the scoring in the game. Brendan Gale, Matthew Clark. Clark edges his way in front once again, gets it down towards McAdam, who gets boot to ball and then is taken over the line. Started his career with Central Districts in the South Australian League, Gilbert McAdam. And head to head, John Northey leads in the coaching department, but it's pretty tight. Daffy couldn't quite keep it in. So he'll come back again for another throw in. Of course, Robert Walls took the Bears from 15th in 1991 to 8th last year. Clark again edges his way in front, hangs on to it before giving it to Chris Scott who goes towards Ashcroft. Some holding on going on there. I think Ashcroft may have given away a free kick. Miranda did very well last week against Hawthorne coming off the edge of the square. Strong body, used it well then. It was a case of strength against Ashcroft. Centering kick by Mark Miranda in towards half forward, but a strong mark taken by Dick Foss. He's very deceptive, isn't he, Malcolm, as far as speed, uh, Dick Foss? Yeah, he's a very impressive start to his career, really. Kick goes out wide, looking for lap and can't control it. Prescott's absolutely met solidly by Scott. And a free kick will go to that player. Terrific uh, tackle from Scott. Which again kicks out wide, and both players. by Gale. Yes, Michael Gale and Matthew Kennedy unable to control it, and another boundary throw in. And it seems like we've had 10 in about four minutes. So pretty tight to start with. Terrific contest. Beautifully read by Lappin. Kicks it clear over the 50 metre line, coming out to meet its Lynch. Runs very hard at it. 
Oh, clever is Ashcroft onto his left foot. Dribbles it towards oh. goal. And the first goal to the Bears. Captain Marcus Ashcroft, who gets the Bears away with the goal. Miranda's hand pass is OK. It goes straight to Campbell. He kicks it high up towards half forward. But coming out to take the timely mark is Trent Bartlett. Probably one of the most improved players in the AFL, Bartlett. Kick goes back towards Darrell White. He's edged out of it, however. And the mark taken by Broderick. Goes on to his right boot, putting it out in front of Bond and also Campbell. The club very kindly flew up for Wayne Campbell's mother, Margaret, for his 100th tonight. Let's hope he puts in a good one for Mum. Finds Chris Naish. Naish from 55 metres, set sail for home with a long kick in towards full forward, but just across the face. And taken over. Left forward pocket region. They've sold out Sandy 20 minutes before this game started. They're just letting the people come in now. So obviously this uh, little area where we are will be inundated <laughs> soon. Well, it's fantastic uh, for officials of the game up here. And great that they've been able to draw the support as McAdam takes the hand pass. That was from Craig Lambert. The Bears out of trouble up towards centre wing. Over the back it comes again. Kellaway's hand pass is going to be OK to Barr. Handles it like a hot potato but maintains control. Kicks back towards half forward. Almost the one-hander again by Trent Bartlett. Comes the way of Michael Voss. Voss gives it off once again. Back to Lambert. Playing against his old side. He goes up to half forward. But Miranda is there and he marks in defence. Now plays on quickly. Over to Tate. Tate back out to the wing. Oh, beautifully stolen by Michael Voss in front of Nick Taffy. Lynch on the lead. Great grab. Oh, Supermark. Good player, isn't he, Lynch? So he got a bit flattened by that trip back. I uh, heard him in an interview, and uh, gee, it didn't look like it then. That's a super touch. Great confidence, I'm sure, from all the Bears players. He'll have to kick this again. Uh -uh. Downfield. It may go against him. It may go against the Bears, I think. So it's a free kick off the ball in the 50-metre arc. Apparently, uh, Lepich may have been the infringer there. So, Paul Bullis will take this in really what looked a promising build-up then for the Bears. Short. Oh, super kick again. Gowes ends up with it. Onto his left foot. Kicks. In front's tape. Over the back, Scott. Won't sit for him. Taps it out intelligently White. to White with pace. <laughs> Just can't control the footy. Bullis on hands and knees. Has plenty of time to Callaway. Tape also with the hands. And Bauer leaves a little bit of pressure for the Tigers. Kicks out wide. Ball goes to ground. And there is Lappin and the ball over, out of bounds. And under a bit of pressure there from Prescott. See Darrell White come flashing into the play, Malcolm. And he's one of those players that suddenly everyone lifts and anticipates something special is going to happen. Well, maybe it will again tonight as Clark goes over the top. Played in by... Uh... Charles getting in front of Clark. Interesting battle because Clark played with a lot of these Richmond players in the under-19s. He was down at uh, Richmond, went to uh, Gambia, Mount Gambia, played down there, picked up by South Adelaide, and now he's up here. Brendan Gale, just forward of centre wing, spearing it in towards half four. Pushed wide towards Bond. And over the line. Tiger boys were joking coming up this afternoon that the rumours are bound now that he goes running with Neil Busy every Monday. <laughs> Only having a bit of fun, I think. Clark and Gale. Gale just trying to tap over the back. Unsuccessful, but that kick is wide and will again go over the line on the other side. So just one goal on the board to date. That's been kicked by acting captain Marcus Ashcroft. And the Tigers have yet to open their account. We mentioned Robert Wall's record. Well, John Northy took Richmond from 14th back in 1993 to 4th in 1995. So both have uh, seen their clubs rise. Here's a chance for Matthew Rogers. Rogers in towards Benny Gale. He couldn't quite take the mark. The Duck shoots for goal. And there's the first one to the Tigers. That's a footy. And the scores are level. Michael Voss just covers the ball beautifully with great skills on his left side, carries the pack in front, overrunning in his bullets. Bow does some terrific work on the ground and taps it out wide to Miranda, picking up touches early.
Callaway sells the dummy and then kicks short in the path of Daffy. Scott Cho closing in. Quick kick. He's a great quick kicker. In front, Nash. Gale. And chips again. Kicking not great early. Pressure on. Intense. Well done, Champion Ooh. tidies up at the back. Goes out in front of Kennedy. Can't get the bounce. Now Richardson. Can he set something up here? Comes back inside. And there is Daffy. See, that's wretched luck because Gow has backed himself in. He left Richardson, went out, made good plan. It's good to see a backman back himself like Gow has did. But then there was a muck up and Richardson by himself got the ball back in. You can see here, there he is, instrumental in getting it across to Daffy. And it was unfortunate for Gow's because he really did well initially, Gow's. One oh. of the real finds of the Richmond side, Nick Daffy. Kicking from about 40 metres. Kicks, appears to push it right. The crowd at the back of the goals are clapping it, so I'd suggest that's a point. So the first behind there to Richmond, and that's the margin they lead by with just over 12 minutes to go in the first quarter. Bill McAdam will bring it back into play. Up towards Clark. Take the mark. Bond gives it out wide towards Miranda, overruns it, loses it to Chris Scott, who gives it to Hart, back to McAdam. The Bears Good out of kick. trouble, up towards the half-back line, just trying to gain valuable meterage. Kellaway is bundled over the line by Darrell White. That was an excellent kick because there was just nothing on offer up further and uh, a really good kick for Bounder. So a throw-in between centre wing and half-forward for Richmond. Charles going with a big fist. Bond at the back. Can give it away to Broderick. 75 metres out. Centering kick in towards half forward. Almost good. Off hands again to Daffy. Oh, the duck's on fire. So the Tigers by seven points. And Nick Daffy, three shots at goal. The entire goal scorer for the Richmond side at 2-1. And uh, Don Scott's point of... Uh, Charles is actually making a real contest with... Uh, the centre bounces too, Malcolm. He's, Clarkson are really not getting it down, is he? No, he's been in great form. So is Charles coming off a three-vote performance last week. So we're back in the centre. Clark, like a good player, gets to the next one. Tapped it out wide to Gale. Trying to tap the ball on in front of him to make it sit. Lappin causes some problems. Has enough poise to go back to Miranda, who swings it around his body. Richardson, that's fantastic for a big fella. To be able to pick the ball up like that. Campbell has to get rid of it in a hurry. Falls over the back to Broderick. Slips. Then ducks his head. It's caught. And that is holding the ball. So I'm by John Harvey there. The slip just caused him some problems. And he really ran out of space with Kennedy. Kicks it up. High. Big pack of players. Tapped over the back to Lambert. Off the ground. And out on the fall. So Richmond will take this kick. A relieving kick. Defensive area for Richmond. Richmond 2-1, 13, thanks to Nick Daffy. Marcus Ashcroft having the Bears' only goal. Narenda has got a roving commission. Now he's on the back flank on the opposite side of the ground. Kicks towards uh, centre wing Kennedy. Isn't he doing well too? A lone flyer. On the outer wing. Thinks about Clark coming into the middle, but then elects to be a little more direct. Going inside 50. Charles comes over the top with the effective spoil. Kellaway's at the back. But now they've got the numbers here. Oh, and bends it. He misses. That was shocking, Sandy, because he had an option going in the centre there, and all he did was blaze away for goal. The one that, was, that was a bad miss. He should have done something better with that. There's uh, Roger Merritt, who's sitting it out this week with John Northey. The veteran having a hamstring problem as Bond goes to the outer side. There's a big fly and a big mark taken by Bullis. He heads towards Miranda again. This time he's on centre wing. No mark taken. Well spoiled. And it was that young man, Michael Voss, who did the spoiling to force another throw in. On the outer side, with just one straight kick in it, a low-scoring, tight first quarter. Charles leaning into Clark. Campbell to Broderick, up towards half forward, and Richardson takes the mark. 123 goals in his short career. And he goes in towards Benny Gale territory That's this time. And Benny does it for the Tigers. 
Yes, that'll give him a lot of confidence. He could have taken one easier one just earlier when Daffy came through and mopped up for him. But that was well done. It was terrific play, long and high. And Gale is a terrific centre-half forward. And unfortunately, last year, Gale, in the last couple of weeks, had a stress fracture of the knee. And Richmond didn't let on about that. And he showed great courage in playing those last five games under extreme duress. Yes, the Bears are actually in new territory this season. They haven't been in this position in the first quarter. This late into it, against Footscray and the Eagles, they have been uh, sort of in control of the game. So this is the test, and this is, these are the games that you have to be tested by. Off the ground, back to Clark. Great hands in tight. Sets up Lambert to Hart. Now swings around, a high ball. Flyers wanted. Just one from behind, and that's ah, Bullis. Free kick. free kick going to Lepic, I think, off the ball. Actually, he did well then too, Malcolm. Did you see how he got in front then and really backed in, and Bullis, you know, was... Oh, I'm sorry, Gasper, Gasper. Um, pulled him down to the ground. Just prior to... So you can see him backing in. Yes, yeah, so I think there was a bit of acting in that, but that's fair enough. He was in the front spot. So he did player. just marginally grab him. Yes, he's really improved, this fellow, coming from Berwick. So yeah. Justin Lepic. Great pinch hitter in that Lightning Carnival series when Roger Merritt was out. Kicks and starting to come back, but not enough. And that's a disappointing miss in front. It was probably the one the Bears wanted after Richmond had skipped a couple away. Yes, with nine minutes remaining in this first quarter. Bow goes to the outer side. Good looking kick finds Bullis. Bullis heads towards centre wing. <laughs> he's one of the most exciting players in the game, Richardson. And he's got the football on centre wing. Matthew Richardson tumbles a wobbly old punt down towards half forward. He was looking for Benny Gale. Campbell's there, but he's under pressure. Gives it away to Nash, who's taken over the line. Just watching his skills, I wonder it's a, if it's an athlete playing football because he got the ball out on the outer side before and his handball really wasn't crisp and that kick wasn't a real good. I think he kicked 22-4 last year, Don, to improve his kicking those early games when he played. Here's Broderick. Slips at the crucial time. Gives it away to Campbell. Pumps it high end towards Sir Justin Charles. And he marks 15 metres out. A chance to post the Tigers' fourth goal. Actually, I was just thinking, Don, to have Richardson playing on a half-forward flank He's unbelievable, isn't it? It's quite a luxury. Well, it is, and uh, but they've got three talls down there. They've got Ed. And actually, Edwards, if you get like, go back to last year, when uh, Richardson did his leg, Edwards dropped out of the scene altogether because what he did was get more pressure put on because he usually picks up the third best defender, and he's a little bit better than that, uh, Edwards, because, uh, you know, Gale and Richardson take the two good ones. Charles for his first, and the Tigers fourth in a winning first quarter, but no. Off to the right, one behind. Gave himself a hard time after that kick, uh, Justin Charles. 3-2 plays, 1-2. We're in Bob Hurd's old number. Bob Hurd from Collingwood and went to Richmond. The big fellow wore number 15. Yeah, it's not a bad number. Why? <laughs> no, Dick Foster kick it in. Kicks out wide. Oh, there's a pack of players. Once again, Richmond very disciplined with their punching. Push it forward. Lambert reads it beautifully, wants to find his left foot. Now kicks out. Scott's got two to beat. Can't happen. Great backup work to Broderick into the centre. Chips it short to Campbell. Campbell has a lot of space. Now can chip the ball out in front of Edwards. Not a great kick. Favours Champion. And Champion races it towards the boundary line. And great defensive work by the former Woodville player. And turns 28 tomorrow too, Richard. He'd be the best Woodville player that's come out of South Australia, Sandy. <laughs> Champion. Well, if you want to stir the pot. Well, by certainly by name he is, anyhow. Here we go. Boundary throw in. Tap again. Clark, great down to Lambert under enormous pressure. And another ball up. Great McKellar wasn't bad. Can't think of too many others. Ralph Sewer. It's like a blight on our game. Zip zap <laughs> Sewer, yes. And you're talking about him today. Here's uh, a bounce. And they remember you at Woodville, Matt. We don't know about that. Uh, some holding on going on there. And Chris Bond doesn't like the decision. Lambert does. Tucked in the back pocket. He hugs the boundary line with a wobbly punt. Kellaway comes over the top. Daryl White there also. Mark Miranda. 
sees it across the line. No, you should look at stats, Sandy. But I'm just looking, there's 56 touches to 39 in favour of Richmond. And uh, is, is it a more efficient bear size and a, and a more overuse Richmond side? It's interesting, isn't it, early in the game? Yeah, and 12 points the margin favouring the Tigers. I think that's a reflection of the coaches' coaching styles because Northy is one kick Smarter. and a handball. I don't think in the first quarter. Perhaps, maybe. Well, here's a chance for the Bears, boys, because uh, they go down through Fletcher, down towards full forward. Voss may get there and soccer off the ground. He does once, but he's got to go again, and he's got to beat a couple. And it will be Gasper, who may run it over. No, he thought about it. Then decided to go back towards Broderick on the outer side. Straight through his arms, although he had players in front of him. Lambert's at the back, could have been shoved in the back. The umpire says no, so Clark gives the hand pass away. They've got a chance through White to go in towards the forward zone again, and they do. Lepic takes the mark inside 50. Gee, it's good to see these young players come good. They all came up here together, didn't they? Lappin and Lepic, and there's Chapman on the bench. There's Lappin, a skinny kid from Chilton. Goes short. It's effective, Adrian Fletcher. In his 110th game, has a chance to kick his 57th goal. Directly in front and kicking from 45 metres. And the home side needing this. It's been Richmond's quarter to date. But he's got his first. And through. Hard overruns it. Now coming onto his tape, off the ground, out wide. And Gale leads in the race to Bartlett, tries to scoop it back. The running Bond gets hold of it, caught, now stumbles. Somehow or other gets his kick back to the front of the square. Players attack it, ends up very cleverly by Danny Dickfoss. That is very cool for a third game player. I know he's 25, but he hasn't played in this sort of heat. The kick from Champions, excellent. Gives it to Scott. Scott, quick transference of play. Voss back, can't control it. The ball towards the boundary line. Players dive and. Fantastic movement from the back line from the Brisbane Bears. Alistair Lynch having plenty to say down in that forward zone. Is Lynch now Bullis went Lynch on obviously made a change. Scott and Charles again. Won by the latter. Pushed down towards uh, Jamie Tate. Gas was still going with uh, Lepich. So who's picking up wide? It would still be Callaway. Gasper did a marvellous job on Jason Dunstan last week, restricting him to just a couple of goals. Settling into his new club. Here's Michael Voss, speaking of talent. Down towards the forward line it goes once again. Hart's kick gathered only 10 or 15 metres, and it's defensively pushed over the line. Free kick. So, perhaps a little too defensively, and Hart is going to have a shot. Well, this should be easy for Hart because he's on the... Oh, well, I won't say easy, but it's a left... Oh, oh, right, Lynch has got it. Lynch is the man taking it. What's Alistair going to do? Check, Check side. side. He bends it back and he's missed it. Yeah, I, I fair believe you have to hold the ball more upright, Don. When you hold it flat, you've got yeah, to Yeah, I know when I used spot. to check side the Melbourne on men, numerous occasions, I had trouble just getting it onto the boot to the line. <laughs> Five think, points the margin. Yeah, the more they hold it up, the more the trajectory seems to go up and hold its line a bit longer. Anyhow, that's a practice thing. Broderick to the outer side. Gasper and Kellaway. It is Gasper. Look out because uh, Lappin's quick. like lightning so they'll go inside 50 once again he chips in towards lynch a little too far underneath the football and it's pushed defensively back towards the half back line and lambert is waiting down there once again he had it and he lost it richmond towards well gars and he was backing into the pack good battle between he and richardson he's got it in the middle andy gars in towards half forward or Dion scott went way too early but uh, there's been a free kick, and it's going to go... He says Shepherdy. ...towards Dion Scott. Now, that's interesting. So he's going to take it just at, on 50 and directly in front. And this will give the Bears the lead by one point if he's straight. From 50 metres, oh, pretty good-looking kick, and the Bears have hit the front. Scott gets his first. 
Brisbane a 3-3, Richmond a 3-2. Yes, well, he's the man that Buller started on. Who's going with... Uh, it's Tate. It's Tate now going with uh, Champion. Let's see if we can pick up that infringement. Boy. But anyway, it was there, I suppose. It was Tate pushing him off the ball. Within, not, when the ball wasn't within five metres. Yes, and I, hope a lot more of that, yeah, I hope a lot of that goes on because uh, shows a very vigilant umpire. This has been a good little five or six minutes here for Brisbane. And I don't know why they're all playing over that side of the ground. The ball's been out this side once for the whole quarter. Can you have I mean, a little five minutes, can you? You can have a little five. Oh, I see. Five or six minutes, you can. Oh, good. Okay. Out of the centre. Lynch, oh, great stretch. Great. Wants the players to run quickly into the square. Oh, now there's a packet of them. Go short to Voss. Great skills. What's he doing up there? Because he started down back. Him and Scott change off a half-back flank for some of the game, Don. Great kick. And Robbie Wall sitting there in behind. Michael Voss would know the capabilities of this young fella. Slight breeze, probably pushing it back towards the Bears' goal. Kicks it up high. That's a smart kick if it drifts back in. Unfortunately, it hasn't. But I thought the right idea with the kick with nothing on offering. Two points, the margin. There's 100 game of Wayne Campbell. Kicks it back in. Club champion last year and was a favourite for the Brownlow. Had a disappointing count, picking up something like 10 votes. Tom, would you think, why well, there's some reason why the players really haven't come over this side of the ground? They've played that the Bears social club side, the coaches side, where well, Robert Wills is sitting. Well, just looking at the sock, it's, you know, hanging fairly limply, so I don't think they're going you know, I just, I suppose, it's one of those peculiarities in the game so far, Mel. Then again, a lot of the plays over that side of the ground, you know, the times that I've been up here at Brisbane. Great fist from behind from that kick from Charles. Gale tries to get it under pressure. A lot of players around this ball. Quick hands by Kennedy. McAdam just has trouble standing up. And then is sieged upon by Daffy. Legally says umpire Gavin Dorr, so a bounce it's on the sponsor's sign. Centre wing, far side of the ground. Bauer going with Fletcher, and Fletcher's gone into the forward pocket for Brisbane. Clark, great jump. He's not getting... <laughs> Umpire's absolutely poleaxed. Daffy from 55 metres. Great oh. stretch. Can't grab hold of it is Richardson. And just over the line for a, virtually a rush point there for Richmond. So scores one point the different and we're down to a minute and a half just on to go Voss on the half forward line for Brisbane picked up by Prescott Makata again heads to the outer side his target will be Clark Cop to shove and the advantage is going to be paid. So the Bears now have a chance through Lambert to take the hand pass and go up towards half forward, but uh, backing play. back and taking a fine mark was Barr. Richmond defend and defend well. Suddenly they can de turn defence into attack, although Scott may have something to say about that. Not paid the mark. He plays on, goes with a left foot kick around the, the body, but a good strong mark taken by Darren Gaspar. We've got some play over this side. Gaspar on centre wing. To a congested half oh. forward line. Richardson was the flyer. Waiting down is Daffy. He's been their goal kicker, their scorer for the night. Goes down towards half forward with a strong mark taken by Richard Champion. And he defends. To the outer side, he's got Danny Dickfoss. Dickfoss has a look down towards the centre wing. Ashcroft's got to beat a couple. It wasn't a good kick. Michael Gale takes the mark. Charles has a chance. He's inside 50. He marks and he plays on. He shoots towards goal, but he's taken it away to the left. And one behind. It's good because he's putting pressure on Clark. He's kicked two points. He kicked two goals last week. Justin Charles. He's done a bit of thinking about tonight's game too, and we'll watch it when the next boundary throw in where he and Clark go for the ball and see what he does. Milestone coming up for Richard Champion in the next month if he continues to play every game. He'll join the 100 club. Kennedy. For that outer wing. Richardson again. What an athlete as Bauer tidies up from behind. 
passes back towards Michael Gale. Richardson is also there. Lambert does well through some heavy traffic, but his kick is not good. It finds Jamie Tate. He's got Campbell on the centre, a bit slow. Tate goes up towards half forward, and time has beaten them this time as Richmond go down towards their half forward line. A very tight first quarter here at the Gabba as John Northey heads out, not to address Richmond, but to address the Brisbane Bears. Robert Walls goes out, not to address the Brisbane Bears, but to address Richmond. And Don is totally confused with that. But uh, there it is, with, uh, of course, so much surrounding the coaches, as we see Tony Free in the background there, since they uh, have switched camps. And nothing in this game at quarter time. There is uh, the skipper, and there's another skipper, Roger Merritt. Out with a hamstring this week and approaching himself a major milestone. Scores level here at the Gabba. Brisbane a 3-4, Richmond a 3-4 as we take a break. To go in the second quarter, 3-4 apiece. Umpire Gavin Dorr. Well done, Charles. Taken away by Scott. That's Chris Scott. Norwich rising star winner. Uh, years gone by, just a couple of years. Lappin puts the ball down in front and tries to paddle it forward. Gains probably uh, 20 metres and is still going. Eventually loses it. Now an opportunity for Broderick. The boy from Camperdown. Heads across the half-back line. Finds Bauer. He's away. Into the middle he goes towards the duck. And Nick Daffy has a look down towards half-forward. Past yeah. Gale. Up towards a Richardson. Out comes Richo but can't take it. Nash gives it back towards Brendan Gale. Scoops it towards Michael Gale. Back to Nash. They're inside 50. Down towards a full forward. Good, Good strong strength. defensive mark taken by Richard Champion. Yes, and you see the strength there against uh, young Holland. That's uh, number 16 for Richmond. And we wish him well, Ben Holland, playing in his first game. He's affectionately known as the Phantom at the club. But 50 metres here, and it's going to bring the Bears out of the danger zone. Richard he's, Champion. He's replaced Edward Sandy. And yep. Gales at full forward. Daryl White. Relatively quiet in the first term, but he is just so explosive. He only needs a minute or so. This man's done well, actually. Courage shown by Bauer. Gives it across to Charles. Look out, that hand pass. Set up Prescott. Difficult one for him. He tries valiantly to get it out and does so. Broderick's kick is high, back towards Daffy, in opposition to Scott. Scott puts his body over it, then spoons it out the back door intelligently towards Bond. Bond has Daffy going past again. Now the Tigers are away. Daffy has a look downfield. Down towards full forward. Rogers is there, well so holding on. And again, Brisbane will get out of trouble. It's great to see the umpires paying that, because last week a lot of players got away with a holding, and there's Dick Foss using his body to great effect. Backed into the pack. The oldest recruit of the year, and he's certainly settled well into this side. Daryl White, the flyer. Lambert, down in front, tries to just paddle it out. He did so towards Kennedy, who socket off the ground. It's still at half forward. Campbell shows strength and courage, and he kicks it up towards half forward once again. Inside 50. Here's a chance for Nash. Tumbles it towards goal. Which way will it bounce? Away to the left, and one behind for Richmond. And Chris Nash in his 112th game. Hughes there, Andrew Hughes, Tristan Lynch. So Gilbert McAdam to bring it back in. It has been a very tight game. Kick doesn't quite find the mark. Now Nash seizes upon it, kicks it back to the front of the square. Champion from behind, uses his body, can't get hold of it. Good Rogers onto his left foot. Ball falls 30 metres out, and Dick Foss holds it up. And the correct call by the umpire then held to him. So important, isn't it? A lot of pressure. I'd hate to be the full-back nowadays, trying to spot a man up the ground. Yeah, well, I suppose you've got time. I mean, if you just want to back yourself with confidence, there's no reason why you, you should be worried about it, I believe. Anyhow, here we go. But the pressure of the moment, I suppose, like anything. Kennedy behind. That is a free kick. Michael Gale will get that. And he'll kick from outside 50. So now the whole Richmond forward line opens up like a concertina. The Bears players stay on side. It's a big hole in which Holland can and lead. And there it is. The kick can't control it. Great pressure from Champion. McAdam clever. Clark runs it out. Now looking for some support. Uh. Finds Richardson beautifully. So Matthew Richardson. 
Goes back inside. Gale's got his name written on this. Can't grab hold of it. He really didn't jump at it. Terrific stuff there from Charles. To Nash. He's a goal kicker. Gives it to Campbell in trouble. Caught. The ball falls free. Great pressure at the back here from the Bears. McAdam, very cool, and gives it to Gowers. Gowers comes up towards the centre wing, and White takes the mark. Now they start streaming down into the Bears' half-forward line. He goes short, but it's effective, and he finds Dion Scott. In towards the 50. Lynch came steaming out. Bauer is there, and he's caught! Plan is the call. He pushed it towards Bullis. Voss goes in strongly. He's at the bottom of the pack. Well done by Broderick. Off to Campbell. Campbell gets the hand pass away. Now they're in trouble again. Up towards Richardson. There's been a whistle. It may come back to Prescott. In fact, it's going to in the centre. And reviews the rat is about to come on. Clark backs into the pack. He couldn't take the mark. Dick Foss tries to get out of trouble. He can't. I'm still looking for Michael Gale's name, Sandy. I've seen the Channel's ba Challenge Bank insignia and T.W. Sheeran. I haven't seen the... It's ripping into you, Malcolm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he had his name written all over that ball. Uh, Campbell. God, that was half an hour ago. <laughs> yes, but it takes that long, usually. But Rogers shoots towards goal, and I think he's pumped it through, has he? Oh, it's going to be a free kick. Right on the very last line of defence, and it's going to go the way of the Bears' Andy Gowers. Clears wide. Miranda. Nearly. And boundary line beats them all. So pretty tight. It's a, there's a fair bit of one-on-one -on -one going on. Ashcroft now going with Broderick too. That's another match-up. It's Bond going with Lambert. It was, that was a, that's been a bit of a switch around. Yeah, so McAdam coming off. Just got some good touches too. Gale. Left foot. Foss. Can't quite control it. Sets up Ashcroft. Swings now. Now run himself into trouble. It was very tight. There's a lot of players in this midfield area. And the ball is hoiked forward to Fletcher. Playing up forward. <laughs> Paid for the free kick and got it. So Adrian Fletcher will kick from centre wing. What do you think, Don? Well, actually, I didn't see that, but I'm looking down the ground to see what's going on as far as this forward line set. I was wondering if White could start down in the pocket to just give it a little bit more speed because I see Lippich and Lynch down there. Who comes to White, jumps early, falls to Scott, gives it out wide to Gowers. The ball needs to sit and it won't. Tate goes off the ground cleverly to Broderick. Broderick onto his left foot. It's fantastic kick. Finds Holland and Ben Holland for his first kick in league footy. Now goes back, has Gale. With him is Bartlett, goes well over the top Bartlett. and will run out of bounds. Bartlett had no chance at all of getting to that, but what he did was pull the hands away of Gale. And there's David Burke warming up. It was good play by Bartlett. As I said, a much improved player, but what a lot of poise that young fellow, number 16, Holland's got for Richmond. Well, exciting youngsters, aren't they? You mentioned uh, Burke about to come on. In fact, he has at the expense of Prescott and, of course, uh, Phantom Holland in his first game. This is Christopher Scott going towards Gowers in the middle. Now they run it out to Lambert as Gale gives chase. Lambert gets his kick up towards the 50. Darrell White didn't fly. He's in front of the pack. He's got possession now. Gives it away to Fletcher. Fletcher back to Lambert. Turns one way, then the other. Swings back onto the left foot, goes in towards the pocket, and it's good. And now Brisbane have a chance to score their first goal for the quarter. Isn't a slip? crucial because it was Burke who slipped over and he was picking up the man who got the handball across that was Fletcher Prescott went off he had Fletcher earlier Fletcher in turn to uh, Lambert and Lambert now has put it down Dion Scott's throat and Scott's got a chance to convert but it was a costly slip by young David Burke from 40 meters Scott's drop putt I think he's missed one behind. scores are still level Big crowd here tonight, and age really no barrier, and really, if the food's off, eat the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone eating your tote tickets, Don. <laughs> for the last meal. Broderick. <laughs> Kicks in. Clark over the back. Somebody rather gets hold of it. Lapping off the ground. 
Foss in a bit of space, just can't quite control it. Campbell runs at him, and the ball was out of bounds. So great work there from Campbell on the boundary line, just to hold up Michael Voss, who looked very dangerous for a few moments. Huge crowd, fantastic atmosphere here at the ground, and it is a tight game of footy. I wouldn't say it's the prettiest, but it is tight. Bullis breaks away. That loping style kicks it out to the wing. The Clark also lopes. Richardson misses him. Gives it back to Gowers. Starting to pick up some kicks. Chips the ball high. Flies won it. Yes, great fly. Justin Charles relieves the pressure for the Tigers. So the young Ruckman is in front of the main scoreboard here at the Gabba. Shows both sides locked on 23. The Bears fans thought they may have got a free kick there from Richardson not to be. And it'll be a throw-in on the outer side. The crowd, the record crowd here for a home game is 18,881, as we said earlier tonight. It looks as though that will go. Flipped out by Miranda, no one able to take it cleanly. The shuffleboard at the moment. Eventually it's Ashcroft, and Marcus Ashcroft tumbles it round towards Darrell White, who was pushed out of it by Kellaway. He then, in not so subtle fashion, actually, it's towards the line. Now, let's see what uh, uh, Charles does with Clark on this occasion, because what he's worked out that... Oh, Clark's going off the ground. <laughs> Thanks, Matthew. So Clark off and Fletcher back on. In fact, it was uh, Scott who contested. Jamie Tate caught. Kellaway, hurried kick down towards it. Half forward. Campbell is there, but he's under a ton of pressure. He loses it. Look at Fletcher. So Dion Scott's now on the ball. They must have a small half forward line. The Bears. There is Scott contesting with Charles. Pushed down towards Adrian Fletcher again. He's a real workhorse. To left half forward. Bauer picking up plenty of touches. Runs it over the line. Jamie Tape there with him. And another throw in. Lambert in front of him. Charles McAdam brings it back inside, but there's no one there except uh, Duncan Kellaway. So Richmond will get out of trouble going back towards the wing. The bounce is not good for Campbell. Goes straight over the top. Champion, good smutter. And the ball is held up on centre wing. Only one multiple scorer on the ground. That's Nick Daffy. He booted uh, the first couple for the Tigers. Lappin with a high left footer that's going to stay in play. Difficult one for White. But <laughs> they're the sort of things he can do. It's great recovery, Sam, because he's yeah. just going for that mark. Too. Look at that kick. A worm burner to Voss. It's an interesting game for you, isn't it? You see this tug of war going on. All of a sudden, Daryl White does something and sets up Michael Voss. It's funny how the cream rises. Yes, it usually does in all sport, doesn't it? Yes. Let's hope it stays at the top at Augusta this weekend <laughs> as Voss has a shot. 45 degree angle. This to break the shackles and for the Bears to regain the lead outright. Well, they will with a behind. Now, Clark, we saw leave the ground. Is he OK, Dipper? He's OK, uh, Sandy. He's just been poked in the eye. It looks like he's going to be uh, back on the ground very shortly. Yes, well, he's a very valuable cog in the Bears machine. Bullis will take the kick out on the half-back flank. Yeah, it's a fantastic kick there from Gasper. Now goes long. Oh, terrific work in front. And that is an excellent decision. Bartlett pushed out. Worked hard for the front spot and deserved that free kick. Hugging the boundary line. Can't control it, Lynch. Falls to Charles, swings the ball around, and in front this time was Gale. Oh, sends Bond running. This is the first real motion forward for a while. Richardson now moved towards the goals. Overruns it. Gower's first back. Kicks under the pressure from Richardson. Big flyers wanted. It was in Fletcher. Really made him. The big fella earned that mark to Miranda. Great handball out to Bond. Dwells. Now has to kick it back. 
champion sits underneath it. Can't control it. Goes to ground. Dick Foss has done very well. And there's a free kick. It's actually going to Richmond. Chris Nash going back for the kick. I think that was against Gow. It was a fairly crude. What he tried to do was the right thing, Gow. But... So, Chris Nash. Noted goal kicker. Dipper and Wally sit in the background. Kicks from 50. Lovely long kick. Oh, Campbell almost on the line. And it's touched across the line for a behind. So the scores are level. And since those late couple of goals from Brisbane in that first quarter, we've had a series of points. And one side catching up the other. Clark's back on the ground for Brisbane too. He's offering the lead. Three kicks have gone the way of Brisbane. 15 to Richmond's seven. That scores dead level. 24 apiece. Maybe they won't be after this kick. And ben Holland sends it high. Oh, Campbell was the flyer. Going to be kept in play. And socket back towards Michael Gale. He's still on 50 for Richmond. He had a look up and lost it. He regains it and chips to Bond, who's just outside 50. The short one's on again. And it's effective. This time it's Rogers. I don't think the game much maybe opened up the face of goal a bit. Another former Panther. kicking from 50. In fact, 51, but it's a pretty good-looking kick. It's one behind. As the dress comes off the goal post. Not as big as those last week in uh, with the Wacker, don't No, I reckon they could have scored a few more goals last week had it not been for that padding. Gals. This goes short, finds Danny Dickfoss. Dickfoss again. Short to champion. He heads towards the outer wing. Tape does some leaning in towards Dion Scott. An attempted soccer off the ground doesn't work. Lambert goes flying in. Scott there also. It's just a matter of who is going to break, I think. Jamie Tape game. certainly wasn't going to then. Is uh, John Harvey bouncing once again? Look at the tackle on Voss. Sensational as the ball spills free. Holland sweeps it wide. Here's an opportunity for Miranda, putting them in towards full forward. Bond is at the back and he takes the mark. Well, here is the chance for Richmond now. They lead by one point. And Bond was by himself too. He's usually got a job, Bond. Here he is slipping his opponent. 35 metres out, directly in front. Gee, he's got it home, but only just, I think. Minutes remaining, the first goal of the quarter. Scored by Richmond, and here he is again, Chris Bond, bursting through the centre and earning a free kick. Kicks in the direction of Richardson with the fly. Oh, great mark. Richardson now move forward, Don. It just, just wasn't quite working for them at the full forward line, was it? We certainly know he, he's a proven full forward. Just a youngster. As you said earlier, Malcolm, earlier in the year, before he did his knee, he was tremendous. Really very, very accurate in front of goal. His conversion rate was exceptional. Well, oh, it's a big kick. Oh, the goal I up think it's has right. not moved. <laughs> Great kick from Matthew Richardson. Fifth goal to the Tigers. So once again, they get that two-goal break that they had early in that first quarter, Doc. Yes, he didn't have a good game last week, Richardson, but here he is out in front. He's got the run, the lead. Very hard to cut those off. Didn't hold it for long. But nonetheless, he didn't have a good game last week, but he took nine marks. So he is a bit of a problem in the area. John Northey, Roger Merritt and co look on, somewhat concerned. And Brisbane have got everybody up out of the 50-metre semicircle, which allows Richardson a lot of room in which to move. 
funny old game, isn't it? We've gone something like 20 metres without a goal scored, and then in the space of 60 seconds, we've seen two. And Charles still doing a good job, because if you remember in the weeks we've seen uh, Brisbane, it's Clark who's got the ball forward on all occasions. There was a contest once again. Lambert, long and low to half order. Big pack of players. Broderick does the roving work. It spills free towards McAdam. He pops one over the top. Hart gives a roundhouse left down towards full forward. They need a score here. Hart again towards the boundary line. Now Richmond have the numbers. It's Paul Bullis who shoots it out wide to Miranda. And Mark Miranda's away. Up towards centre wing. In fact, over it goes towards Benny Gale. With him right there is Trent Bartlett. And Callaway behind play, Sandy, is uh, just getting up. He got winded. Uh, Lynch went straight over the top of him with his knees. I hope he's all right. The trainer's gone out. There he is, Callaway. He's a pretty tough one. Speaking of Lynch's, Tristan Lynch is warming up on the sideline, so it looks as though he's going to come on soon. Now, Clark and Charles are going to do this ruck work. Now, what Charles worked out is that... Uh, when Charles worked out, Clark always hits the ball with his right hand, so he's coming in on that right hand side once again. From the throw in, it's Broderick. He's got time to just size up the situation and chip away short. Find the youngster in Holland. Puts them in towards Richardson territory. Gowers is there with him. Dick Foss is first to recover. Back towards Richardson. It goes over the top to Bond into the open goal. Suddenly, the Tigers are alive. And three or so goals down. They really are being asked some questions tonight. Richmond pretty pumped up. Scott off the ground and kicks. Can't grab hold of it. Nearly pinched from Bauer. Callaway over the top of it. Lynch into his back. Gasper, White, gets a handball forward somehow. Gets taken high as Hart. And rushed through by the Richmond defence and David Burke. So the Bears really nothing clean in that patch, but a score resulted. And McAdam now has gone on to Burke. Dick Foss was down back. Now McAdam has gone on to Bond, I should say. OK, so Wayne Campbell. Yes, his last goal, 27 and a half minutes mark of that first quarter. Well, they did come back. Ashcroft. Bobbles forward. Ashcroft in the back pocket. He's picking up Broderick. Bullis has time to get up and then kick from that set play. And Bendon Gale... Gets young Bartlett out the way. Miranda starting to run through the middle now. Comes out wide. Richardson with the jump from behind. And what a fantastic mark again. All of a sudden, him going to full forward. Don changed the game in well, six or got, seven he's minutes. He's got that semicircle in which to work. They're playing very disciplined football. This is a bit like what Brisbane used to do last year when they had uh, Lynch really far well before Lynch got sick. Plenty of room in which to work. So, Matthew Richardson, Let's kick one. He's a lovely long kick now, and he really did improve his accuracy. Very close to the man on the mark. Starting to float off now, and has missed. So, Bears sigh a bit of relief there, because that uh, just might have hurt them a bit as we close down on this second quarter. And Richard Champion to kick it in. Yes, they will be feeling the pain because they've managed only three goals almost for the half and they're in danger now of making that even worse because Broderick is going to have a shot after chipping in and stealing it. There was a factor that we talked about, Don, that trip back from Perth at midnight last oh, week. And they were on that plane, weren't they, yeah. at the same time as us at quarter, well, past, 11, yeah. quarter past 11, Brisbane, they got into Melbourne at... Half past four, had to wait for the six o'clock flight back up here, so very draining, I suppose. Here's Broderick kicking from 40 metres, and he's a left footer with this kick. It's a lovely kick by Broderick, and it's a goal. Good margin now to the Tigers. Clark, pack of players, falls free. Buse breaks clear, tries to set this kick up. They just haven't quite kicked as well in their forward line. And the big stretch then from David Burke cut out Michael Voss. He now comes out wide. Campbell from Whoa. behind goes early, gives away the free kick. It's good by Buse. He had the habit of running second Buse, mopping up, and now he's putting himself in front. So Buse waiting for someone to lead. There's really not a lot of movement up there. There's just a pack of players. Charles sits underneath it, not quite. 
Bauer almost. Tawny, very good. Out to Casper. Casper released some pressure. Oh, terrific jump in front from Chapman. Stands and kicks it. White pushed underneath the ball, falls over the back, but takes there to mop up for the Tigers. Goes with a sweeping hand pass towards Gasper with just a couple of minutes to play. Gasper's kick goes back towards centre wing. Holland first forced to defend. The Voss almost runs into a teammate. In fact, he did in the form of Nathan Chapman. And the ball goes over the line. So Brisbane have been held to just three points in this quarter. Clark and Charles jostle for position. Charles Lambert. on the right-hand side once again, Sandler. Kicks inside, 50, they need a mark. Oh, that was terrible. No one is able to accommodate, and Michael Gale comes away. Down towards the centre wing, and he finds Rogers in front of McAdam. Rogers swings round, going towards 50. The Tigers have got time for another one. And this young boy has certainly made his presence felt. Holland gives it away to the Duck, who's kicked a couple. He catches Richardson unawares. He was dropping back into the square. This allows Gowers to break away to Clark. Back to Gowers. And now the Bears are out of strike. Back towards Darrell White on the outer wing. Can he keep it in play? No, he can't. It's good to see Gowers now starting to stand up and mature as the footballer because really it was only a wingman at Hawthorne. They tried him in other positions, but now he's got a responsible job and he really is uh, relishing the task. And it's great to see that the player accomplishing a little bit more than what he's used to. Clever tack from Clark to Lambert, sets up Chapman. Once again, the kick just not finding their marks across this half-forward line. Burke's called to play on because he races away with it, kicks it back, champion in the favoured spot, cutting across was Buse, and neither player could control it. But just their kicking on the forward line hasn't been precise, has it? They've been under a fair bit of pressure too, I suppose. Who's that, Brisbane? Yeah. Well, they kept falling down across half-forward, aren't they? White was a star last week, and I mean, yes. well, maybe it's a midfield. They're but being still need the ball. around midfield. But you still need the ball kick somewhere near you, Don. I'll give yourself a chance. I mean, it's just been some very ordinary kicking into that forward line. Charles, very good for a big fella running oh. around. Oh, there is a pack of eight players. Now spread eagle. Oh, great handball to Pond. Can he kick his third for the quarter? Yes, he can. Richmond really forcing the issue here. Well, I didn't believe this could happen. Up here, I thought Brisbane were certainties. And they're going long into their forward line. The pack flying. And there's Broderick. He'll shoot it out to Bond. And Bond has finished off the work in this second quarter. That's his third goal in this quarter. Going across or well, playing in the forward pocket. But they're playing well up the ground, giving Richardson plenty of room in which to move. 5-4 to three points in this quarter. It's been all Richmond. As we go back to the middle once again, Clark floats over the top. Lambert tries to take it away. He gets it out wide towards Chapman. Needs someone going past. Has him now, but time is ticking away. This is Tristan Lynch down towards the left half forward. Out comes his namesake and takes the mark. Alistair Lynch. Oh, well. Gets around the man on the mark and kicks from 47 metres. Can he score their first goal for the quarter? No. She moved beautifully then, Lynch. Second behind to Alistair Lynch. 3-8, plays 5-8. 8-8, uh, eight, eight. margin, five goals. Watch out, David Burke. Just gets his kick in time. He spirals it down towards the half-back line. Buse takes the football, but he's beaten by the siren. And that ends an excellent second quarter by the visitors, by Richmond, who have added five goals, four in this second quarter to really throw down the challenge to the Brisbane Bears. They were restricted to just a four points as Justin Charles, Darren Gasper and co leave the ground. And also they're closing down their forwards down there in Lynch. I mean, he's kicked eight goals uh, in the past two games. And also Sean Hart kicked five in the first two last week. And also Darrell White's another goal kicker up on the forward line for the Bears. And uh, the Richmond defence have done particularly well. So as they gather to go in for the long break, it is Richmond leading by 30 points. Eight goals, eight to 56. Brisbane are 3 8 26. <laughs> Lift from a number of players who have been a little quieter tonight than they were last week against the West Coast Eagles. But it's a five goal margin. 
as we go into the second half. Clark has a mighty run at the ball up against Charles. It drifts wide towards the wing. Daffy gives chase. He pushes it even wider. Down towards half-forward, Broderick off to Campbell. The 100-gamer is clear. Wayne Campbell charges in towards half-forward. The kick is a beauty, and Richardson takes the mark. This is just the start that Richmond wants, and exactly not. What well, I think it's want. a tactical move, a coaching move that has brought off the fact that Richmond are back in the game because Richardson was playing across half-forward in the first quarter. It was only when they were kicking the other end of the ground that Robert Walls moved all the players up out of the semicircle, a 50-metre semicircle, put Richardson down at full forward, and he's just got too much speed and too much space for Gowers. So here's the kick from Richardson. It's away to the right and drifting further away. One behind. Good thing for Brisbane, he didn't convert. 3-8 plays, 8-9. Chris Nash. Prescott was the other one that um, didn't pick up. In the middle. Prescott and Co. as Clark stands his ground and takes the mark in opposition to Charles. Thought about going short to Tristan Lynch. Off the side of the boot towards Dion Scott and uh, too strong for Jamie Tate. Scott round the body goes up towards the 50. Bears through Lepage, unable to complete the mark. Voss lays the tackle. Bauer tries to sneak out the back door. Kept in play for the Bears. Where's Darrell White? He's beaten by Kellaway, who gets a quick kick towards centre wing. Bond gives chase with Lambert, but the ball will beat them over the line. Here's Brendan Gale. And a throw in between centre and left half forward for Brisbane. Charles wins it, down towards Miranda, off towards Wayne Campbell. Pulled off the football, and he's going to take the free kick. Did it pretty well. Justin Charles wants to pay the advantage, but he's got to go back. And give it to the man who's brought up his century of games tonight. With Mother Margaret in attendance, being flown up by the club. Great attempt to mark was by Trent Bartlett, and he recovered well. Off towards Chapman. Chapman kicks over the centre, towards half forward. No one able to take a mark, but there's been a whistle, and it's going to be a Bears free kick. <laughs> Dion Scott, between centre and half forward. Has a look down towards full forward. The pass is on, and it is a beauty. So Alistair Lynch now will have a shot directly in front, some 40 metres out. And Gow's coming up the ground. I don't know if a change is being made as Lynch lines up, but uh, what Richmond are doing, so are Brisbane, leaving a lot of space for Lynch in which to lead. And he's a hard man to mark up, as is Richardson down the other end. Alistair Lynch with only his fourth kick for the night. And that is away to the right. One behind goes on the board. So they have done it in singles since a quarter time. When they were 3-4, there's Andy Gow's. They are now 3-9. And Alistair Lynch has three behinds. Kick out Tate. Comes wing side. Players run to the ball. Chapman runs over the top of it. And he's paid the free kick as the Richmond player grabbed him without possession. Once again, going long. Lynch pushing and shoving. Can't get hold of it. Bauer, terrific on the ground he has been at the back. Tries to tap it out the back. Stack of players come in over the top of it. Gale tries to handball it to Campbell with that familiar quick kick he's got, one of the best in the competition. Comes to Tawney. Broderick, who's been a real architect tonight, setting it up. Rogers wants to take Piers on. Now goes on his left foot. Richardson and Gowers, one-on-one, -on -one, coming over to support with Scott. Goes to Daffy, onto his left foot, and it's missed to the left. So he's got a quick kick too, hasn't he? Daffy, yeah. a real opportunist. Yeah, they've got two on the side. And uh, just going back, the uh, Gilbert McAdam looking on Matthew Kennedy and Danny Dickfoss. Christopher Scott kicks back in. He wanted Voss, but Charles just floated across the back and took the mark. And is able to play on. 65 metres out, goes deep into the scoring zone, a big pack of players, and Campbell gets a boot to it, did he? Yes, he did! Clark takes the ball, off to Lappin, chips Lynch. Now plays on, kicks, comes back inside, onto his left foot, chips to the front of the square, Scott, 
was confronted. Players go to ground, the Lepic swings it round, and finally the Bears have got one. First goal to Justin Lepic, and their first goal since late in that first quarter. So the Bears with some movement through the centre there, and Lynch almost again single-handedly setting this up. It wasn't a great kick, but it did set it up, Don. Yes, and I was just harking back to what Wally was saying, Wally Lewis at half-time. I wonder if the publicity they've received uh, through the week up here in Brisbane has had a bit of an effect, because certainly they're not playing up to what they've been doing the last two weeks, Brisbane. 31 points the margin. Clark and Charles go at it in the middle. Who can win it out of the centre? Lambert applies the tackle. And Mark McKenzie comes in to take charge of proceedings as Chris Bond picks himself up. So I do think there's games, though. I think you bottom out as a team. You know, they've been on a bit of a high for the first couple. And just you need to work your way back into it. Perhaps this might be the start, that goal. Charles down looking towards Michael Gale, who paddles the ball down in front of him. He's got it inside 50 once again, and uh, Benny comes storming out. Has got a free kick for a tackle too high. It's a good centre half forward this morning. From 55 metres, it's a drop punt going deep into the square. He should get the free kick. Why, isn't the, why isn't the free kick paid? This is one Gow is infringed. On your... Look at Gowers holding on. He's not touching. Just prior to the camera shot getting there, he was the <laughs> arm around. <laughs> Sorry. Gowers <laughs> brings it back into play. Voss through, but without the football. Charles went in over the top. Could have infringed and has said the umpire. So Broderick will take the free kick just on the defensive side of centre. Clark. Scott from behind has to come late. Falls to Tristan Lynch, to Lappin. Looks for namesake and Lynch at the other end. Can't grab hold of it. Gasper's done pretty well at the back end. Wobbles the kick forward. Players come at it hard. Lappin's got lively at the start of this third quarter. Gives it off to Fletcher. Fletcher back into Ashcroft. And Ashcroft's then forced to kick it round his body. And players have to sit and wait. Almost a free kick then to Voss. Not paid. Falls to champion from 50 metres out. Chips and finds Lepic. So a couple of forward movements now for the Bears where the kicking's actually getting starting to get a little bit better. Yes, he's already kicked one goal, Lepic. Moves well, he's got a good shape for a footballer, good shoulders. So Justin Lepic playing at full four tonight. The number on his back too. <laughs> In your opinion. It kicks and kicks beautifully. So Justin Lippick. Question here at this full house at the Gabba. We've got a bounce virtually in the middle again. Broderick finding himself at the bottom of the pack. Chapman was there also. And now a bounce with Clark and Charles. And Fletcher hurried high ball towards the centre wing. No mark taken. Look at young Tristan Lynch. It's a talented youngster, this boy. Swings round onto the right boot, passes in towards the 50. It eludes a couple. Bar tries to get out towards Broderick. Well claimed. The ball spills free. Michael Gale picked it up beautifully towards the running Miranda. And Miranda's kick goes down towards full forward. Over the top, Gars is first to recover. He'll just paddle that over the line, conceding a behind. Nine twelve plays 5-9. Marcus Ashcroft is the acting captain tonight. He goes from the back pocket, tumbling a punt kick. It finds its mark in Michael Voss. Voss is almost down to half back. He's got Wayne Campbell on the mark. Kicks towards centre wing. Jamie Tape trying to spoil Dion Scott. Tristan Lynch through socket off the ground by Tape. Back towards Wayne Campbell again. Now Miranda. Round his body, up towards right half forward. Gale cleverly onto Rogers. This looks dangerous for the Bears as Rick kicks towards full forward and Richardson takes the ball. Plays on. Centering kick is on to Charles. And he's unmarked 35 metres out directly in front. 
He's taken five marks in the night. Oh, it's a big one, Morkum. <laughs> Charles for well. three votes. Played very well. Stopped the informed ruckman in the comp, probably. Oh, he has. At this stage of the game. Well, he's done a lot of thought about him. You yeah, usually get the Ruckman anyhow, don't you? Well, he'll, he'll get a few. Yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> You'll probably give three to him and two to, two to Clark. Let's see what he can do. Charles. From probably 44 metres. Going to be pretty close, that one. But he's got it. So Richmond pushed that margin back out to 33 points. Clark jumps high. Fletcher tries to get onto it. Well done by Ashcroft. Really got held onto long after he got rid of it. Earned the kick back, kicks out wide, runner in the way, Bauer comes back, met solidly by Scott, tidied up by Gasper. He really does wobble the kick, doesn't he? Great use of the body there by Holland. But the free oh, no, kick... No, the umpire, I agree with the umpire on that occasion. Yeah, I just thought he used his chest, but fair enough, he was pretty close. So, champion, goes back, tape solid. Jamie Tate. Great pick up too from Richmond. We have a few in this side now, really emerging as a good side. That is a mark. Because Benny Gar was the tallest and stood in front and used every centimetre. And goes to half forward. He wants Richardson. He's got the height from behind. He had to try and beat a couple. Bues gets through some heavy traffic. Gets boot to ball to Tristan Lynch and he takes the mark in front of Miranda. He'd be anxious to do well tonight, Sandy, having been on the supplementary list at Richmond. Lynch's kick towards half forward. Kellaway spoils, but it's straight down towards Lepich. Lepich goes for a centering kick in towards Dion Scott, and Alistair Lynch will have a shot now after being paid the mark. The man who won't get much praise there was Dion Scott. Now, just watch Scott if we can get it on screen. He jumps and kind of takes the other two Richmond guys out of the action. That was terrific stuff by Scott. Lynch still looking for his first goal of the night. Directly in front and is inside 40 metres and he's popped that straight through the middle. Well, they wanted him to convert because uh, he's been their major goal kicker the last couple of weeks. He's been off target. As Sandy just said, that's his first goal for the night. He kicked three points up till then. And there's Tristan Lynch once again getting involved. A high ball from Lepich. Watch Scott there takes the two Richmond guys out and Lynch strong nonetheless. Interesting isn't it with the two players that fall forward now that uh, if the ball's going to get down there quite a bit of times they're both quality players you think scoring will happen so it's really this midfield battle that will set this win up for either side. Richmond holding the aces at the moment Clark with a great jump trying to get it to Fletcher as they've done so often in the first couple of games of the season and the kick off the ground finds Scott and Chris Scott comes out on his left foot Players running wide for him. Lappin. Bonds quick. Really does try and make him pay the kick. Fantastic oh, skill. Now can go long. Does that. This is pressure in the goal square again. Flyers wanted. And no, there's a kick. free kick. What's he doing? Free kick to Dion Scott. Now Dion Scott was pushing and holding prior to that ball coming down. Just prior to that shot there. And yet he gets a free kick. Well, so Dion Scott kicks and has kicked his second. So the Bears now just it's that bit closer and uh, that five and a half goal margin. Oh. Now back to three and a half. I mean, it's the old rule. It's the old rule, isn't it? If, you, if you're ever in doubt in a game of footy, it's a bit like cricket. Just add two or three goals to it because it can happen in modern footy and like two wickets in cricket. Yeah, you know. you're not wrong. No yeah, wonder no. you coach the runners <laughs> up on three occasions. <laughs> I always ask myself for that. Good on you. Shut up, Lighty. <laughs> well, it's got the fans going here at the Gabba. It's a full house. Clark sets himself again. Justin Charles has got plenty to say. There are players going Coach's everywhere going down in the on minute. the forward line, Sandy. He's come from the back line. Gale's gone into the back pocket on Dion Scott. Richmond have been able to answer the challenge. Let's see what happens this time. Tristan Lynch is a high flyer, but he can't take the mark. It's surged clear once again. Lappin goes down to where was Holden. Was there holding? 
It's a smother and it's still going to be kept in the pocket. Voss is quick to close on Burke and it's over the line. Now it's Richmond who've got the small half forward line, although young Ben Holland's down there. Tawny's coming off the ground. So what are they doing, Richmond, here? Tawny was up on the half forward line. White tries to flick it over the back. Voss is waiting down the front. He's clear with the hand pass towards Daryl White, who's been quiet tonight. He bounces it towards the right forward pocket, and Alistair Lynch, and again, it's over. Well, Nash is coming on the ball now, up onto the half forward line, so they've got an even smaller half forward line. They've done a swap now. Buse is going on to Nash. And Chapman is picking up the taller tape. Margin was 30 points at half time. It's now 21. And the Bears through Voss are desperate to close it down even more. Could be a free kick, and there is. Actually, Ch uh, Ch Lambert's going to take it. Chapman has picked up Rogers, and tape on the half forward line being picked up by Bartlett. So Craig Lambert in his 155th game against, incidentally, his old side has a chance to make the margin of 15 points. He's kicked 63 goals in his career. He'd dearly love this one. 64 would be memorable. Oh, he's oh. kicked it. He has kicked a beauty. Pulse's quarter of Richmond's two really are now asking the question of this Richmond side. Ball forward again. The centre work's been a lot better. And some pretty good defence there from David Burke as the ball runs towards the boundary line. Kellaway pretty content to let that Ooh. go. Oh, now that David Burke didn't shepherd, then he actually dragged White off the ball and should have been penalised. Yeah, so the Bears getting their stuff right in the midfield now, giving their forwards a few more opportunities. Great handball from White. Bad luck from Lambert. Campbell gets the high ball. Back to the tools. Clark sits underneath it. Can't grab hold of it. Falls out the back. Broderick. Bond uh, sets up Miranda. Clever. Also a clever kick under pressure. And a free kick will go down the ground. Really free kick again. I would have thought it was in the art of, act of kicking, but anyhow. Holland comes back in the centre half forward. From behind, can't get hold of it. Many players in tight. Falls to Chapman, runs by him. Rogers is quick. Goes to ground. So does Chapman. Tunnel balls it out through his legs. Tate moved onto the forward line to Burke. Burke only has to chip this to set it up. Michael Gale, very good in front. Terrific kick to him. Really did give him every, did give him every opportunity. He goes in quick. Rogers got the sit here. He's one mark, Rogers. So Michael Gale showing a bit of experience here. Just trying to settle the Richmond side down. They really need a reply from these bare goals. Kicks to the front of the square. Oh, it's a huge... Oh! oh! <laughs> well, yeah, Sean Smith into the, the ground. Matthew Richardson almost outdid him. He got higher than Sean Smith. And the ball's forced out of bounds in an exciting jump from Matthew Richardson. Have a look at this leap. Oh, I think he was a centimetre lower than yeah. Sean Smith. And Gale now up on the forward line. Gasp has gone into the back pocket. Six and a half minutes remaining. Here's a Wayne Campbell for behind. Ten thirteen plays eight nine. Well, another one now. Certainly set it up for the final quarter. Gals will go to the outer side towards uh, Chapman, Holland, and some holding on says umpire John Harvey and it will go to the Richmond youngster the Phantoms kick back in towards the forward zone once again Hart is there with Campbell towards the boundary line the Richmond boy had it then the bear small man had it finally over the line it, it is exciting isn't it the two new teams in the finals last year yep. really now getting down the to tours of trying to emerge as, as a super team really yep Brisbane, of course, trying to remain undefeated. Nature's kick partly smothered. Now Brisbane have a chance to tidy up again. Back towards Lepic, who takes a strong mark. Oh, let's hope he's all right. Is he just cramped up? He's... 
given it away and the umpires called play on so they've gone down towards Darrell White a big pack of players see it spoiled Ashcroft gets the hand pass away but it's Dropping a stray up. towards Rogers he dropped the football and the umpires picked it up too Lepic receiving some attention may just be cramped now Chapman has the opportunity in the middle of the ground gets around Moran oh. but he can't get around the duck He's surrounded by it, and they're going to lose the football. It finishes with Miranda. The turnover could be very, very costly. Gamble can go over the top to Richardson in the square. It's only got to sit, but will it sit? He's there, and he just pops it through. Too easy. Now, you know why that's... Just to try to avoid all those players, and all his teammates ran to support, and there was no one at the back for the Bears and an easy goal to Richmond. Really just broke that deadlock a bit now. Ooh. Ball forward again. Chapman this time just unloads it. <laughs> and the crowd not kind to him. Michael Voss in front. Charles. That is terrific for a big fella. Been super impressed with his game. He really seems to have grown confidence as the next perhaps Ruckman. Greg Deer, of course, missing tonight. And really stamping his mark on that first Ruck position. Chris Scott takes a good mark, falling back. Leppage is off the ground too, and Dick Foss has gone on half forward for the uh, Bears side. Scott, good skills, out to Voss. So the Bears have lifted. Richmond so far nearly answered most of their questions that they've answered. William and Scott. Ashcroft tried to get it through. Here's Bauer with a hand pass away. Quickly unloaded, but it comes to Broderick. Broderick's got a bit of time to size up the situation. He drifts it into the middle. Mays gives it away to Charles. The big man running, and he kicks long towards full forward. Gars is the only one there. So they peel off from the back line. Hughes will be one. Rides the bump. Quick, they've got players by themselves. Well, they're going to have to be quick. He's got heart down the ground. He's going to pick the wrong option. I don't think you can see him. He goes inside towards Richard Champion. Champion is now down almost to the centre. Ball to ground once, then has a look up towards the 50. Miranda's in front, and he holds it up. He's called to play on. Oh. So it's pushed out towards Bauer, who can chip over the top to Gasper. Gasper will go back and take his kick. Bauer's in a spot of bother behind play. We'll keep an eye on him. Brendan Gale can't take it cleanly. Chapman in trouble. Gives a little ground before giving it away to Buse, who fires it out to Lambert. Lambert has a look down towards left half forward. Hart's his target. Miranda is there with him. Gasper's waiting down in front. And he steadies back towards centre wing once again, where eventually it goes over the line. There's Lepic just receiving some attention. There's Lepic cramping up just here, and the goal was scored because uh, Chapman turned the ball over and Richmond had too many numbers on the forward line. So 22 point margin to Richmond. You can see there what Charles is doing holding onto the arm of Clark as they went for that boundary line. He's worked out that Clark only hits the ball with the right hand. Killaway underneath. Stack of players. Nash towards the boundary line. Campbell with that kicking style that he's got. Fantastic. The Duffy it was. So, another throw in. Chris Scott's gone in the back pocket. Richmond pulling the changes. Miranda's gone on to Lynch, centre wing. So, Gale and Clark do the ruck work. Great tap from Gale to Daffy. Sets him up nicely. Pushing and shoving. Gower's in front. Over here with the players. Gower's brilliant through the middle. Coming at it, two Richmond players collide. Charles with great presence, but then unloads the footy. Didn't have to. Oh, there's a tree full of bears. Kick it. Gone hard. Lynch has gone hard at it. Here we go. On his left foot. Chipping out wide. Really no one advantage. Hart might be first there. Goes back to Lappin. He's a clever player. Tries to chip in. Lynch almost bowled. Scott off the ground. Bull is better. Back into the middle and Scott's got it. It's Chris Scott. Cut one high too. But play on is the call. Rogers just about gets him. In fact, he does. Pulls him to the ground as he tried to get the kick away. Lambert goes through. Puts it inside 50. They need a mark. They need a goal. Burke defends for Richmond. Gives it off nicely. Naish has time to steady to Bond. And he's got even more room. Oh, 
Oh, here's trouble here. Broderick's got hectares. He could stop and crop this. But instead, he chips in towards full forward. And Brendan Gale takes the mark. Right forward pocket. Richmond players running everywhere. Benny Gale. Sandy Depp back down in the uh, other end of the ground. Lynch is on his knees and still has been on his knees after contesting that ball when it came down. Now, I wonder whether that sickness that he had last year is taking effect. He's still down on what there he is. And look, you can see him still gasping for air. I wonder if that's starting to creep in. The, the, the fatigue syndrome. Let's see what Gale can do. This is an important kick from 40 metres. It's a drop punt starting away to the right, but it'll only produce a behind. Still down on his knee, Lynch behind play. 23 points the margin. Buse has it. Oh, he's gone straight down the throat of Benny Gale, who charges forward again, puts out the pass, and the danger signs again go up because Rogers will have another shot. Great admirer of uh, Gale at centre half forward. His first game was against uh, Richmond up here at Carrara. Chris me that night. Lynch is up. Matthew Rogers will be too if he kicks this goal. Looking for the Tigers 12th and really a steadier. The margin is 23 points, an awkward looking style as he slips to the ground and produces a behind. It must be rather warm out there as uh, Rogers was lining up. The trainers from uh, the Richmond side are all running out with water bottles, giving everybody a drink. Well, the heat got to the Tigers last time, but it's certainly nothing like it was last time at the moment, with only seconds remaining. Well, there aren't any seconds remaining now. Three-quarter time. And Brisbane coming back, they needed to. They booted five goals, one in that third quarter. Richmond were a little off target. They booted three goals, seven. So they've closed the gap, but only by seven points from half time. Or is it six? Six points uh, to half time. There's Clark waiting to come across the Richmond hierarchy with Robert Walls. Calling his charges in and asking for one more quarter of footy to produce the four points. Concerned Roger Merritt, the aging skipper, who's out with a hamstring, lends his support and encouragement to this young Brisbane Bears side. Can they come back? Well, stay with us in the final term to find out at the moment. It's with Richmond. 11-15, 81, leading Brisbane, 8-9, 57. That's what I like about it. Yeah, that's the thing about me. Big question is, can the home side continue their unbeaten run? Richmond at the moment, however, will try and ensure that that does not happen. They have a handy lead going into the final quarter. The first goal, absolutely vital. And it's Daffy who sends a Richmond down inside 50. Richardson comes steaming out. The athlete that he is, he's able to get boot to ball and bend it round his body into the right forward pocket. Gale can't get there in time. That's Benny Gale. And there'll be a throw-in. Right forward pocket, Richmond in attack. They lead 81 to 57. Cool night here in Brisbane. Gale tries to flick it over the back, taken away by Buse. Shrugs the tackle, kicks high, but only to see it marked by Nick Daffy. The lead is on from Richardson, and he's got it. Steve line, was baby. going full tilt My towards. word, Lynch and uh, Richardson, they're both similar. The forward lines are set up identically. Respective ends of the ground, and boy, he's a hard man to stop you. Oh, he jumps up, he's so quick. Very hard man to stop. Gowes did his best, but Matthew Richardson, with kick number 11, is looking for his third goal, and this will really make it tough for the home side this will take it back to a 30 point margin but he won't because he's missed that he'll make it a 25 point match i was going to say that uh, during the third quarter but i just reckon he's getting too close to the man on the mark he's got his run out worked out but he's really just not lining up where it's going to 
So Richard Champion. Down the middle. Holland belts it back because they must be the team rules. Really probably could have marked that, but that's fair enough. In underneath. Oh, Broderick's done that a lot tonight. Been clever trying to set it up. Oh, he's Play held him. Going to ground. Lynch comes in hard. Big ball, this. It's pretty important breakaway. <laughs> and kicked out of the air. So could this be the bit of luck that uh, perhaps the Bears can get back into this? Handball, Hart, pressured, Voss, caught. It's a big turnover, this. Holland has to unload it to Michael Gale. The Bears run at him. And Bond's free. Has yeah. the players to chip it to. Eventually kicks it high. Clark comes in from the side. Can't control it. Tremendous pressure down there. Rogers can't stand up. Kicks it off the ground by Gowers. And Gale has found it. Now chips into the square. And surely oh, will be a Richmond goal to Miranda. First goal to the Tigers. To 31 points. As Charles charges at the footy, it's socket off the ground by Burke down towards the right half forward. Lappin gives chase and he is like Grease Lightning is Lappin. Overran it, then has time to go back and get it again. Got through some pretty heavy traffic too before getting his kick back towards the centre wing. Jamie taped it and flies. Waits at the back patiently. Goes over the top towards Miranda. Back to Kellaway. Richmond almost down to half forward. That was Burke. Another one away to Wayne Campbell. Chips away to Bond on all fours. He's got time to pick himself up and shoot for goal from 48 metres, if you don't mind. Chris Bond has got number four, and that's just about it for the Brisbane Bears. Developed into a very, very good player, Chris Bond. Here he is, and he just manages to get his kick. He gets floored. But that's his fourth goal. Good effort. Yes, yeah, an amazing stat. If you said that Chris Bond would end up with four goals in a game like this, you... Views off the ground, too, and McAdam coming onto the forward line for the Bears. Yes, anyhow, nevertheless, he's kicked them into the centre. Lambert forces the ball forward. Coming out to meet at Lynch. Runs hard at it. Sets up McAdam. Now goes back to Lynch. Lynch has to turn around. Gives it off, Lappin under pressure. Almost gives the ball away to Lynch. Foss kicks it. Players everywhere here, White. And Daryl White will take this shot. And uh, it's not out of hand yet. Been pretty quiet, Malcolm. My yeah. word, an excellent fact. I was starting to think about the votes. And one man is Callaway. Because he's had White all night. And we've seen White. Be a very dangerous player in the past couple of weeks. Daryl White kicks and kicks a much needed goal for the Bears. So, first goal to Daryl White, and they keep hanging in, which would just seem to have a little bit on them at the moment, Don, but uh, they, they just keep coming back, don't they? Well, this man that actually takes and kicks this goal here, White, really has to put in something. I mean, he is the player up there. Uh, Dion Scott's been doing all the heavy work. He's been floating across that half forward line. I think it's about time he's really got to produce. There he is. Couple of quick ones, the order of the day. Still plenty of time left. If they can rip it out of the middle and convert. Slung was Scott. Kellaway does a 360 but still gets his kick away. Wayne Campbell likewise but this time loses it. Voss has a chance to run. Bounces his way across the centre. He's clear. Wobbles it up towards the half forward line. They need a mark or McAdam waiting down. They've got Gilbert there and he's on the 50. He almost threw that out towards Fletcher. Actually Sam, he that was a pretty poor effort. I think he was really slow getting it to Fletcher. It's a pretty good throw but unfortunately it was picked up. Now it's a turnover and Broderick will go wide towards Rogers. Got players streaming down the ground. He elects to go longer. Floating it inside 50. He ignored Wayne Campbell, and it's Gowes who plucks it off the top. Kicks towards Darrell White, who takes the mark. White's on half back. He's got Lappin short, and he uses him. Kicks towards Lepic. Did well to hold off Jamie Tape. 
Good use of the body. An exciting youngster, and look out here. Burke was strong. It comes back to tape again. He spirals it high towards Brendan Gale. Caught one in the eye, but uh, has the free kick anyway. Looks down towards Richardson. That's where it's headed. Gales is with him. Richardson's the fly. Almost pulled off the ball. Oh, here's the duck! And he slammed it into the woodwork. Well, he opened in sensational style. Nick Daffy with a couple of goals. The duck mucked that up. <laughs> he did. He's had 14 kicks, though. He's been telling. He's been lively. He's put pressure on the opposition for uh, defence. Runs hard. Gows kicks in. Big pack. Lambert. This is a setup. He's got Lappin. Gale cool. with a great chase. Lappin with plenty of pace. Now goes towards Lynch. Almost. Can't grab hold of it. Important play this from Richmond's point of view. Quick transference of play and the players in underneath it and Richmond have done well to stop it on the 50 metre line. And we look dangerous just for a moment. Someone very happy about the Tigers result. Well, that or they've got a pen for their birthday. <laughs> Ball's pushed out wide. Lepic in underneath and we'll get the free kick as Bodrick just got into his back with his knees. Plays on to Lappin. Now swings back. Long kick. Goal square stuff. Pushing, shoving. Almost a mark again. Gasper clears. Out wide to Miranda. Lynch closes and punches away. The ball heads towards the boundary line. Off the ground to Champion. Champion trying to set this up to Voss. Clever handball. Back to Lynch. Lynch now goes to an open goal square. And getting back is Gasper. On the last line of defence, Darren Gasper. Well, he won't want to remember that. He will not want to remember that. Chip no, short. It's a very difficult shot from here. Out of bounds on the full. And blow me down. Or will it come back? Going to have to bring it back. So Daryl White. Well, he's the sort of player who could make this look bone easy. Now, oh, don't tell me. what did I say? What did I say? It's Brisbane side, then surely it is goals like that from Darrell White, and they go charging down towards his territory once again, down towards the left half forward. Who's going to be first to it? Leppich is there, but Jamie Tate stands strong. He gives it to Gasper, and they're out of trouble. Gasper kicks wide, sitting underneath it wide, can't control it. And Miranda back onto it. He's got some important touches. Broderick again sending it up for Richmond. He is clever in tight. Campbell almost controlled it. Nash can unloads it back towards Broderick under enormous pressure from Lambert. And Paul holding the ball as he really probably didn't do enough with his body work on the ground to let the umpire know that he was trying to get rid of it. Well, Lambert's kick. He's hurt himself too. Nothing. He's limping, actually, Lambert. Gale, Daffy, and forced out of bounds. So it was a pretty good turnover then, and a free kick actually is going to, as we look at Craig Lambert, just in a bit of trouble there. Hopefully uh, just a bit of cramp. So Brendan Gale. It's a nice long kick. Oh, <laughs> Richardson. Really? Went a fortnight early, and the ball has gone out of bounds. Trainers coming out to Lambert too, and also the club doctor. Yeah, it's just over 12 minutes, 26 points. The Brisbane coaches box and all the helpers. Pushed down to the boundary line. Campbell will get a kick in. He always does. Beautiful spot front of the goal square. That's marvellous. I mean, that's the difference sometimes in footy, isn't it? Just that realisation that you're under pressure. And it's a great skill to have when you know you're under pressure to kick but it quickly. But also the forwards down the ground realise what he's going to do, don't they? You know, he's not going to do the unexpected. He's going to put it on his boot very quickly. So Matthew Richardson. Good stats now as a full forwards kick two. And I'm sure he's kicked his third. And bit of breathing space for Richmond. And he's getting better, isn't he, Richardson, with each game. More confident. But, Don, isn't it true that from every every pack, every player should just waltz to the front? Because normally they're going to be kicks under pressure. Well, that's right. You know, especially in tight games like this, the ball's going to fall short. 
And really, that's a, it's the old adage, isn't it? You've just got to play in front and take the advantage. Well, not if the ball's 100 metres away. I mean, you still got to read it and try and set yourself up for over the top of your head. Well, I couldn't read it, Malcolm, so what I used to do was play in front. <laughs> 69 plays 101 and Richmond have it out of the middle after a square infringement it will be Charles going towards 50 towards the leaping Richardson he couldn't quite take the mark but they're working hard at the bottom of the pack and eventually a bounce will take place as Andy Gowers picks himself up he turned 27 last Thursday this isn't the sort of present uh, that I think he had in mind. As we see the hit outs. Surprising. 16 to 8. Here's Richardson again. How do you stop this man? His agility. I was thinking Athletic through the week. I was just thinking through the week with Wren with his knee injury and Schwartz with his knee injury. This man coming back in under 12 months with a severe knee injury. Whether they should be wearing braces on the knees and just until they get that real confidence and maybe the strength back into it. Richardson for number four. 30 metres out, almost directly in front. He goes close to the man in the market. He's popped through number four. And bench. Robert Walls looks on. Charles out the centre. Daffy, another one of those guys that can get the ball to boot so quickly. Charging at it. Campbell off the ground. Fine champion out wide. And champion has nothing else to do but to kick it wide and out of bounds as Michael Gar was really the closest player to where that ball ended up. So pretty intelligent kick there from Richard Champion. Yes, Richmond side, they've, um, it's a tough test this up here now, so this is, this will be an excellent result. Kicked into Richardson, how's that? Champion was clever, sets up Ashcroft, back to Champion. Trying to come back to the middle. Burke reads it beautifully, off to Rogers. Rogers just kicks and hopes, Gows with the sit, punches well and falls with Chapman. And Chapman swings it out wide to Champ. Champ's with his socks down, chips the footy, and goes to Tristan Lynch. We should talk about the importance of the game. Of course, uh, Richmond next week have Sydney at the MCG, but Brisbane have North Melbourne at the same venue under lights. And that's going to be a big, big ask with the form of the Kangaroos at the moment. Brendan Gale up towards a right half forward. The big spoiler was Trent Bartlett. But now it's Kennedy with a long bomb up towards the 50 and a big pack of players. Lepich was waiting down. Bullis gets the hand pass away and Richmond out of trouble once again. Although Tristan Lynch is quickly on the scene. Now he's got to confront Burke. And there'll be a throw in as the ball slipped over the line. Son of Francis Burke. From the throw in, it goes up towards the centre wing. Daffy puts his body in, so too does Chris Scott. I might have said that that Bears North Melbourne game was at the MCG at this very ground. Just got transfer, hasn't it? That's no, my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Richmond again with a chance to go forward, but repelled by Kennedy, who kicks it back towards left half forward. This is Jamie Tape. Good shepherding sees him clear towards the centre wing. Gale off towards Callaway. He gets caught as he was looking for Campbell, but he's been pinged. So Daryl White to take it on centre wing. Charles drifts across the pack. And some holding on going on there. It's good to see. It's good to see the umpires picking that up now. And Alistair Lynch. Yep, you can see his jumper held there. It's good to see. And Lynch, a long way from home, kicking from 55, and he's put that straight out of bounds on the fall. He really did go for distance, yep. and uh, just the accuracy was all astray, which usually does happen. Yeah, so Richmond came here with a mission in the... This the first strike will go back to Robert Walls and the, and the swap of coaches, but 
think the Bears were going to lose a game up here eventually, weren't they? I mean, it's pretty hard to win them all. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, they've been tenacious without showing their flair tonight. And uh, it's a good listen. You've got to lose some to understand how to win more. Great kick from Daffy into the centre of the ground to Rogers. So both sides now really just running down the clock. Kick first to recover, tapped out to Clark, and a push in the back will go back to Dion Scott. Handballs it out wide to Lappin. Chips it to Sean Hart. Hasn't been in the game very much tonight. Kicks Fletcher or Mark. Terrific pair of hands. Now he can set up Lynch. Almost got hold of it. Now caught. Cool play on. Quick kick from Kennedy. Goes to White. Daryl White usually finishes these off and has on this occasion as well. So, second goal. A yeah, free kick to Ashcroft, who was held. Some of their running players have been pretty quiet tonight, though. Sandy, we said earlier, I said earlier in the quarter that uh, White had have to do something. He's certainly done something this last quarter. He's kicked three goals. And Callaway was looking good with a vote at one stage. Ashcroft's been quiet. Fletcher has been quiet. This is Charles for Richmond. He has been anything but quiet. Goes to the other side. Richardson is there, and he can't quite keep it in play. So again, Alistair Lynch down on all fours. Let's hope that he's OK. I don't think he is. Anymore. No. Judging from that, it may not be 100%. Wayne Campbell. Done pretty well celebrating his 100th game. That was kick number 17. Here's Dick Foss, who spent considerable time on the bench. Marking across half back. Danny Dick Foss kicks towards Kennedy on the centre wing. He'll be quick to recover, but he needs to slap it on to Tristan Lynch. He does exactly that. The youngster has trouble picking it up. He almost caught one in the back. Rogers is away for Richmond. Kick number 18 for Campbell. A little chip up towards left half forward and Richardson. Round his body. He'll go back to Campbell again. Picking up stats at will in this final turn. 65 from home. Towards Brendan Gale he goes, and that was too easy. Gale will have a shot 30 metres out, almost directly in front. He's got a handy lead at the moment, and he can really stretch it now. Gale pushing off. The umpire was there. Well, didn't see it. 11 marks to Brendan Gale for the night. He's done well. He's a worker. The goal in the first quarter. Started that right behind the result. 15 18 plays, 11 9, just over five minutes remaining, and uh, all Bears supporters. A number of them now starting to leave this arena. It's been packed tonight. Best crowd we've had here. Richardson almost marked. White could have been held as he tried to escape. McAdam is there with Clark. McAdam still going. Goes inside to White. Darrell White paints the hand pass and gives it across eventually to Ashcroft. The acting skipper kicks up towards the centre wing. And Jamie Tape, eyes on the ball, running back with the flight of it, is too good. Spears one into the centre and Bond takes the mark. Chris Bond, originally from North Hobart. Has a look down towards left half foot. Oh, there's a play. Kellaway must have a problem because he's all alone. Drifts it in towards full forward. Again, a big pack of players. Gale was there. Twisting out of it is Lappin. And he bounces his way clear. Three bounces. He's now almost down to the centre. Good run by Lappin. And the pass is a beauty to Lambert. Lambert swings around. Now goes long. Lynch in the play again with Bullis. Almost off the chest. Foss caught. It's Kennedy, rather, and a great smother there from Tate and forces the ball out of bounds. So, Richmond being miserly, just over four minutes Richmond to go in this. officials believe if they had a best and fairest count on the last ten games that Richmond have participated in, Jamie Tate would be so far in front it wouldn't matter. That's how good they believe he's played the last ten games for Richmond. Yeah, it's a big wrap. Ball kick from Kennedy. Goes to Lambert onto his right foot and unfortunately can't. Convert, so just a behind to the Bears. They move along to 11-10, Richmond 
Paul Broderick kicked a goal in the second quarter. This time he is the kicker, bringing it back into play to Wayne Campbell. 19 kicks, four marks, seven hand passes for Wayne Campbell. Playing his 100th game and doing it in style. Daryl White, quiet early, finishing well. McAdam gives it away. Champion, short little chip, it's okay, finds Lambert. From the centre of the ground, he goes to half forward. Out comes uh, Lynch, showing dash here, but he doesn't appear to be 100%. Back again to Lynch from a standing start. It's high. That will bring rain almost. It's very high. In towards full forward. No marks going to be paid. Could have gone to Prescott. Instead, Fletcher may kick a goal. <laughs> Just as they kicked that goal, Sandy, I was look back looking at Lynch back on the semicircle on the 50-metre line, and he just, after that kick, Lynch just did not move. He stood there with hands on hips. I don't think the man's too well. But anyway, here it is. Fletcher coming up with a goal. He's had a dirty night by his standards. Wayne Campbell didn't think it was a goal. <laughs> Excuse me. Most, uh, most good sides when they play each other. There's a little break that just se separates the two of them in an honest game. And uh, that little break that Richmond got in that second quarter, still very much the margin now, 26-odd points. Why didn't he play advantage? I suppose he deemed the Brisbane word in advantage. Lambert to Lynch direction again. Dropped a couple off his chest tonight. Caught high and will take the free kick. Ooh. He still keeps resenting himself though, isn't he? Just his recovery powers. Don just a bit down at the moment. Well, after just before when he let that kick go, it just didn't look good. He's now got hands on hips once again. Lynch, he's gone. To Lappin. And he's hit the post. So brings the margin back. To sort of a credible 25 points if there's such there's, a thing, Don. There's Alistair Lynch. So he just can't even post. run over there. He just can't make it up. Kellaway brings it back. Spoiled by White and tape there over the line. Charles plucks it out of the air but loses it to Fletcher. And he's going to get a free kick over. The Richmond big man. He's lowered uh, Clark's colours tonight. Kicks towards the centre wing. And the mark taken by Stuart Edwards. Started on the bench. Edwards kick. Oh! Towards half forward and a big fly by Chapman. Fine mark. Off he goes to Chris Scott, who heads to the outer side, putting it in front of Tristan Lynch. And he'll need assistance there from Danny Dickfoss. And it's the latter who shows dash. And he's away as Danny Dickfoss. One bounce through the middle. He's pacey as he passes in towards half forward. It's a beauty to Darrell White. And he's he'll have a amazing, shot. He's got amazing pace, yeah. Dickfoss. He's getting better. There he is on screen. Each game he plays, he's really picking up the tempo. Used his speed, and what an excellent finish. Well done. White. 50 metres gets underneath the drop punt and produces a behind. Well, all his work's come in this last quarter. White, he's kicked three goals, one, and all of those have come in the last quarter. In this last quarter, just appears to me to be playing more up the ground. I don't know if he's playing on a wing or ruck roving role or something like that. Just to well, he's been starting on the back end of the square each time yeah. they bounce the ball down. He's run through on a couple of occasions. Yeah, well, you can always learn something from a game. Perhaps the next time they play, that's what they'll realise to do. Kick long. Edwards got his name written all over it. Can't quite get hold of it. Really was good pressure then from Bartlett. This guy has been very impressive by Broderick. Knocked up getting the footy. And a mark to Wayne Campbell. Centre wing. You're worrying Don. He thinks there's a lot of names oh, on Oh, there's so <laughs> many. They must have autographed this ball before oh, right. they stop, went out. OK, I'll stop saying it. To Bond. And he hasn't got his name written on this. <laughs> Kicks back into centre-half forward. Clark up in front. 
Made away for Chapman. Wanted to bounce and then realised he was under pressure. To Ashcroft. Turns and kicks it. Bullis meets it. Then has to wait. Kennedy does very well, actually. Onto his left foot. He kicks it and has kicked the goal. Good goal from Matthew Kennedy. And Brisbane's 13th. So they won't lie down. And really, there's only 18 points in it. Amazing game. Well, the way it looked at when it left his boot, Kennedy, it was going to go to the other side of the post. He's been on the bench tonight, Kennedy. has played reasonably well, as a lot of other teammates have in the past couple of weeks. But that's an excellent kick by Kennedy. An excellent kick, because normally a right foot kick. And it's great to see players adaptable and using the other side of their bodies. Inside the last 20 seconds, three straight kicks the difference. As Tristan Lynch gets a high kick towards his acting captain in Ashcroft, down towards Kennedy. Can they finish in a blaze of glory? He kicks up towards right half forward. The numbers are there for Richmond. But that has gone out of bounds on the full. It's immaterial. It's all over. That final kick from Burke going wide. It mattered not. 18 points is the margin. Nick Daffy started the ball rolling for the Tigers with a couple of early goals. Darrell White did the finishing job for Brisbane. He kicked three goals in the last quarter, but he was well contained for the first three quarters. And this is an excellent win for the Richmond Football Club. They had Richardson move down to full forward. And he booted four goals, and Dipper, I would imagine that Matty Richardson would be very pleased with that performance. Just ask him, Sammy, just ask, are you very happy with that performance, your own performance, kicking four goals? Yeah, I mean, it's a great win to come up here. We aimed all week was to, was to go get off to a good start in the first quarter, and we thought drawing level with them in the first quarter, and we'd uh, go on and win from there, and it proved to be right. And you own form too, uh, staying on a half-forward flank to full yeah. forward. You, you prefer that full forward position, give a bit of room to run in? No, actually, I'd rather play up the ground, but, I mean, we, I had to go back there tonight, and I enjoyed it. Just uh, couldn't kick straight, though, Dipper. The old kicking <laughs> ways again. Now, Richo, uh, can I take you back to uh, a one-night one, one game? In the last quarter, you started to get your confidence back, and, and since then you've taken a step forward each week. Yeah, I mean, it's taken it's taken a while. It took a few practice matches, but each game that you play now, you get more and more confidence, and it's a great win tonight, and we're just looking forward to next week now. Good on you, mate. Well done and well played. And get a haircut too, will you? Yeah, no, I'm not getting one, mate. So. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that you can talk to He's a nice kid, too. Just to spoke to him on the plane coming up today. So the final scoreline, Don. Richmond 15-18, 108. 18-point victors, and there are the victory smiles over Brisbane, 13-12-90. Bore up for the night and first congratulations on your 100 games. Thanks, Tim. It was great. It was uh, a special occasion, I suppose. It's uh, you know a goal, <laughs> goal of mine to um, you know play 200 games or so. So halfway there and you know, a real good win on my 100th. Yeah, you were just saying before how tired you are. It was a very hard night uh, on the legs. Real tired. Yeah, I haven't felt that tired for a while. For a while, but um, I suppose it was a hard game last week and. Uh, and uh, the boys are pretty happy about it. <laughs> Obviously, the boys are very proud about the win. I mean, it was a tough game out there. They, they are, and we uh, we did it for Matthew Knights, sitting there at home, getting nursed by his lovely wife, Carolyn. So, Nida, we did this one for you, mate, and hopefully next, the next uh, seven or eight for you as well. You did you did come up here uh, last year, late last year, and got belted by the, the Bears. Uh, I suppose that is in the back of the mind. It was a bit of an incentive as well, but uh, we come up as underdogs again. You know, they were red-hot favourites with all the, with the boogies and that sort of thing, and we seem to be to go into most games as underdogs. So, probably suits us a bit, but, you know, um, just a good win, and all the boys are pretty happy, I now, I asked Matthew Richardson to get a haircut. What about yourself? No, no, he's... Uh, <laughs> no. no <laughs> there you are, Don. No haircuts. Well done, mate. Congratulations. Thanks, Steve. So. like having Stefan on the, on the bench. Well, Justin Charles. And uh, Justin worked out uh, about um, Clark because Clark's received votes the other three nights, uh, two nights, and he's really set it up. And uh, he worked him out. He came in on the right side of the boundary throwing, so he couldn't use the right hand. He jumped up in the centre, and it was a real battle there. Uh, Richardson, when he went down forward, again, he was a focal point. Bond was good in the second quarter at a critical stage of the game. May have died out just that.